Hey guys, what's up? This is Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be answering a question that was asked from one of my subscribers. And I have to say that I have this question also before I started PA school. And the question is, should you, or what do you do before you start PA school? Like how should you prepare for PA school? And you know, this is probably the best advice I have. And what I have to say is just relax guys, like relax. Like binge watch all the Netflix movies that you have on your list, like the shows that you wanted to watch. Because once PA school starts, especially like that didactic year of PA school, it's really, really busy. And you're going to wish that you would have spent more time with your family members, with your friends. You would have taken that trip. You would have, you should have binge watched that movie. So if you can really, really relax. I know it's very like nerve wracking. You're super excited and you just can't wait to jump into the material. But trust me, once that first day of PA school starts, especially during didactic year, it's, you get a lot of information. And it's like a lot of people say, you're literally drinking water out of a hose because there's so much information coming at you in such a short time. So if you can, really, really relax. Do it! Just do it! If you do want to study, what you can do is definitely maybe catch up on anatomy. So that's one of the things I do recommend is anatomy, just catching up on your anatomy. Just read a little bit on anatomy, if anything, just that. But for example, for me, I was one of those individuals that started studying before I started PA school. And was anything beneficial? No, it wasn't, it was not, because I didn't understand anything. For example, one of the jobs I did before I started PA school was just a very easy job. I was able to use actually headphones because I worked on the computer during that job. And what I did is I downloaded a bunch of podcasts discussing medications, discussing certain diseases. And when I was listening to it, I understood a few things in here and there, but I didn't like I was lost throughout the entire time. Did I retain any of that information? Definitely not. I did not retain the information because I was not familiar with the diseases. I was not familiar with the medications or et cetera. So I definitely did not retain any of that. So that's why I say if you can, definitely relax before you start PA school. If you want to catch up on anything, then I do recommend possibly catching up on anatomy and just going over that. That's definitely one of the things that I wish I maybe would have done before I started PA school. And if you see my previous videos, I took anatomy in 2012 and 2011. When did I start PA school? 2018. So that's about six years, if not almost seven years since I had last, last read anything about anatomy. Of course, I had a few things here and there from some of my undergrad classes that I took that were science classes that invi involved a little bit of anatomy, like here and there, but not like that full anatomy that I had during the time I took anatomy one and two. So when I started PA school, that was like super dusty and I had to relearn everything. So I definitely did struggle with anatomy that first semester like really, really bad. And then that second semester, I got a little bit better, but definitely struggled with anatomy that entire year that I had anatomy during my didactic year. So if you can maybe just brush up a little bit on anatomy, just know that the anatomy in PA school is very hardcore, right? Versus the anatomy in undergrad, at least my experience was kind of superficial, not as in depth as in PA school, but still I learned a lot. Versus some of my classmates, like one of them had just taken anatomy before they started PA school. And so they had, their recollection was like this. They remembered the information and they knew it really well. Versus me, someone who had taken anatomy like seven years ago, eight years ago. And some of my classmates, like my older classmates that had attended PA school, like they had taken anatomy like 15 years ago. So it was a really long time for them. So if you can, maybe brush up on anatomy a little bit. But aside from that, really relax, guys. Watch as many TV shows as you can. Spend time with your families. Because once you start PA school, you would have definitely wished you would have done that, especially during your didactic year. All right, guys. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. As always, if you have any questions, any recommendations for future videos or topics that you want me to discuss, comment below. Or any feedback in general, comment below. As always, take care and I'll talk to you guys later.